of this morning just painting and doing final cleanup stuff it's crazy today's my last full day living here i don't want to sound cheesy like overly cheesy but i'm sad <laughs> here's to new beginnings yay Process, I'd like to give some context to why I'm moving and who I'm living with this year. So as sophomores, we're required to live on campus and my friend Rachel is an RA and got placed in junior housing. So we ended up being able to secure this apartment style dorm that has a private bathroom, a kitchen, a living room, a dining room. It's so nice. And I kind of found all four of my roommates through the ethnic and cultural clubs that we overlap in. So we're all Asian, we're all vibrant. I love them so much. And I can't wait for you guys to meet them. And let's jump on into the moving process. Oh. Please don't hurt the walls. Oh. Oh. I know it's like, oh ho ho, East Coast tornado, such a joke. But I genuinely thought there was, I was gonna be whipped up in a tornado on the way. If any like D tier car is my dream, it's a Subaru. <laughs> Subaru. eating anything except for coffee. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so hungry too. And we're gonna have to move in everything one by one. I am so small. I'm gonna be so sweaty. I'm gonna be so tired. <laughs> Can I fit here? No. It'll be really hard to get out. Oh yeah. Okay, these people park like assholes. You will not I fit. I can't fit. <laughs> you don't have spatial awareness. I do. I have this great, morning you were like, great I, have great I have spatial. Great spatial. Great spatial no, awareness. you don't. Yes, I do. But that one, we were coming from the opposite way. Meaning you don't have good spatial awareness. No, I do. I do. I promise. I swears. I swears. Okay, here. Oh, yeah. Yay. She's like having a lot of fun because this place is definitely a little bit bigger than my studio and there's new people, new pieces of furniture for her to roam around on and it's really good because only three of my roommates, well two of my roommates are moved in right now so she's not too overwhelmed. So wow, moving in, 
Ah! I have moved in to different places, moved from different places so many times in my life. And so I'm really used to the rhythm of putting shit together, moving it out, really fast paced, being stressed. But I have never been through a life experience like that. That was so stressful. I, it's just insane how difficult it is to move to the area of campus that I'm on Especially with all the apartment stuff I have So it's been nuts, my my legs are a war zone I'm not sure if you can tell but there's so many bug bites But it's okay, it's been good I went to some pre-orientation things I'm a part of this morning And it was really fun to be in person Now I have a little break before I have choir So I am going to try to do my best to assemble the bookshelf. Let's go. not really gotten much done. Uh, this is my pre-orientation shirt stuff. I've barely decorated because I don't have the right frame for my bed to be lofted. I'm waiting till that comes until I put anything else. <laughs> Are you liking the new digs, Kayla? Do we get the Kayla sit of approval? Do we get the Kayla sit of approval? <gasps> we do! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, 80. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
This is a very rough tour of my apartment and to be honest it's kind of not the most organized because I live with four girls and we're all just like ah I'm running all over the place but it's looking pretty good from where it started. I'll be showing you guys the common area, the, the living room, kitchen, dining room, a little bit of my room. I won't be going into my roommates rooms because that's invasive and a little bit weird so I respect their privacy. <laughs> At the front door where it's Christmas year round. Really, I, I just like the way it lights up. Ah! Wow. It reminds me of my hometown. Even though I live in a desert, I do hail from the Evergreen State. I actually just had it for my old apartment and I just stuck it here. Um, you'll learn that everything in this apartment is just stuff from my old apartment and I kind of just like, ah, copy and paste. <laughs> this is the front entryway. Here's the shoe rack. You know, when you walk in after a long day at the library and you see a bunch of white shoes, you just know like someone's hosting an Asian dinner. And like, <laughs> and here we have a little command hook system. I hung up mirror right here that I'm a little bit too short for. I think Annika, one of my roommates, is like the perfect height because she's like six foot. My tote bag, my keys, and my umbrella. And then all the way down, directly facing the front door, is our coat closet. This is the kitchen, which is not where women belong, but I often find myself in because the dining room food gets really bland after around a week. This is the sink. I'm not gonna explain how it happened, but the garbage disposal doesn't work anymore, and we've been trying to fix it, and luckily it does drain now. This is the drying rack. This is the stove. A lot of dishes are mine. Some of my roommates also brought their own dishes, but I pretty much sponsored the entire thing. Our drinking stuff, medicine, Tupperware, Pantry items and then the fridge is so cute. I um I originally had boobies drawn around these magnets You can kind of imagine what that would look like but someone changed it to a frog and that's a lot cuter the fridge I have this tub of clove garlic from H Mart that makes me really happy Freezer. This is the dining table to be honest, we mostly use this area for studying because our rooms are really small. So my roommates ended up putting some of their desks out here to make more space for storage and existing, like walking around. We have semi-dying flowers right here. They still look good, they still look vibrant. I think we're making it a goal to have fresh flowers in our apartment always. We have this chair. I'm not sure if you remember from my other vlogs, but Kayla will nap here while other people are on their laptops because she likes reflecting other people's behavior. And instead of doing work, she'll just like sleep and be a lazy cat because it's all cats. <laughs> this is a trash can. Oh, that's Chris's home. Those are bags for recycling. And then as we move this way, yeah. this is Kayla's shit. She has her own square footage. She is currently waiting right here because she gets food in approximately 40 minutes. By the way, my roommates love Kayla. They get along so well. She's already so well bonded with my direct roommate. This is a Where's Waldo photo. If you're approximately 5'4", I won't lie, Waldo is really easy to find. This is one of the desks that my roommates moved out. There is really just storage. Then we have self-facing windows. All my plants kind of just chill on the sill. Maggie, my roommate's plant. And that aloe over there is Lauren's plant. Here's some more happy plants at my desk area. I decided to keep my PC outside because it took forever for me to get the proper bed frame to loft my bed. The plan is, is that I'm able to connect my Switch here and then we can like play games on here or someone can use the computer if they need to for writing assignments and stuff. There's a little floor cushion right by the computer area where Kayla sleeps sometimes. Then we have our ode to the cat's chair. Because let's face it, the head of the household is actually Kayla. And then this is the main living room area, which I'm so proud of. It honestly just kind of does look like my apartment, which I guess is fine. My roommates really like it. They were happy someone just kind of did all the decorating for them. We have typical TikTok lights that go around. Artwork, a Georgetown banner. Right here is really comfy. If someone needs to crash, they can because there's a pillow. There's a big ass Costco blanket. And then the coffee table has our university publications, their recent prints right here. And in the middle we have games and also a little duck basket of candy if you, are, you have a sweet tooth. This is another chair. Ta -da. Oh wow. And then we have my giant ass shelf which holds mostly my shit, I won't lie. And it's slightly tilted because I built it wrong because I didn't have instructions this time around. But I don't think it's a hazard. You think so? Jazzy got me this for Christmas last year. I don't think she knew that I main Pikachu and Smash, but I do. And it also. <laughs> this is up Smash. 
<laughs> this is me to all the noobs. What else is cool about this shelf? There's a potato. Jazzy also got me this. It's a little planter that has a hedgehog. We have KK Slider, the man, the myth, the legend. We have no clues. <laughs> you put coins in it. Do you think this music's copyrighted? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Right here we have my philodendron. Beautiful, she is getting so long and so big. I'm so proud. And up here we have a pride flag. I need to get the updated pride flag. Right here is our Asian wall. We do love late night ramen in this household. Spirit hit away poster. Two fans so you might recognize. Dragon poster, Grave of the Fireflies. My sexy, sexy cleaning supplies. Actually, the Swifter is Annika. Give the Dyson some name suggestions in the comments below. Uh, I think it is a she they. That is the living room. That's it. Uh, it's a big vibe. I think it's really cute. So let's transition down the hallway. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit dark. So you can either turn on the sign that says hi or this one. This is the air conditioning and the heater that we don't have access to, which is lovely. This is the bathroom. I hung up this print today and it's like really nice that we have a private bathroom and I'm really lucky as a sophomore, I have a private bathroom. I'm not gonna show an in-depth tour because it's a, it's a bathroom. I guess all I have to say is that this like door jammed all the time. So when you need to go to the bathroom, you can't just like open it. You have to go like. You don't need to show the toilet, Chris. I don't know, I don't know what you want. I don't know what people want to see. And then this is my door for privacy reasons. I won't be showing your side of the room though. Like I, I, I promise you, I love Maggie. This is her room. First thing you see is my cork board of pins. Ah, it's so dark. Ah, there is light. A My Hero Academia Sanrio collaboration poster that my friend David got me at the poster fair. And then here's my wall length mirror. This is where I look at my outfit. This is a collage right here of stuff. Didn't like how much white space there was against my closet door, so I thought this would be a really cute idea. And my closet's really messy, but this is all I get to see. <laughs> and like, I have a lot of laundry, so it's just, uh, it's really bad. It also doesn't close all the way anymore because I have too much stuff. <laughs> on my bed frame, I hang my backpack and then tote bags that I use on a daily. See, the vibe is that this is a separate little nook that I get to exist without having to see anyone else because I really want to have a really good desk area and I think I got it. It's really cute. Ah. This is my desk area. I have my laptop with my laptop stand. This is all the stuff I usually use for editing. I have like my mic stuff, my iPad. But this is the cutest desk mat. I got it from Etsy. Up here, we have a bunch of shit. So this is my mask, hair accessories, basket, accumulation of school supplies. And then right here, I have my Bakuko figurine, one of my vlogging cameras. Right here are, ah! <laughs> this is so bad. I'm so sorry, Kagiyam. Right here, I have two Polaroids of Chris. <laughs> and Kagiyama squish in the middle. I have my voting stickers. Oh, this chicken doesn't turn on anymore. I'm so sad. I charged it with the wrong volt charger. So it charged with too many volts and it just kind of killed it. This is a chicken nugget now. Is that bad to say? It's right. Uh, uh. To the right, we have my makeup station along with Oikawa's right there. A little bit of self care with the Yao Sen chapstick, some jewelry. You can turn on this little light. And there's one of my merch posters right there. By the way, you can shop that in the link in the bio. <laughs> and then we scoop down here where I would put my iPad if I need two screens while I'm doing work. In the background, I just have this really lovely collage. Ah, it makes me so happy when I look at it because the colors meld together so well. It's just a bunch of really beautiful artwork, people I love and anime boys I love. <laughs> down here on the table, we have an Ella Fitzgerald record, which has my favorite song of all time on it. We have a mushroom painting, a little cat that holds my AirPod, a printer, my Lego flowers in my booty vase. Some cameras. This is the Instax Fujifilm Mini 11. Above the fridge, that's the Polaroid One Step 2. The fridge? Ah, I love the fridge. I need to get some sodas for the fridge or something. But it currently just has a bunch of lychee cups. Jelly cups. I have another little knitted mushroom container that holds some pins. My friend Devi got this for me for Christmas. I'm not sure if you can tell. I have like an affinity for mushrooms. Well, this matches my, my, my cardigan perfectly. This snake plant is the only plant I trust to keep in here because it doesn't need a lot of light. So it kind of just chills next to the fridge. Do you see what I can do? There's chills. 
And my headphones right here. I have this vine sticking out, so I remember to duck my head. I've hit my head again so many times trying to go under or out. So I'm just like, ah, I can't hit my head. Ooh, yay. Okay, and then up here, we have my bed. It's not the cutest. To be honest, I never make my bed. It's impossible to make my bed from up there. I don't think I'm actually allowed to have my bed lofted in this specific type of dorm room. But <laughs> like, so but like, Georgetown, this is free. This is free advertisement I'm doing for you. And I'm paying you. So I can still sit up and not hit my head on the ceiling in the bed because I'm just a small human being. I decorated it with a bunch of vines because I really hate waking up to the brick. I like seeing the vines first. It gives me an artificial sense of zen. Okay, if you're wondering, Lynn, where's your ladder? This is my ladder. So I just kind of climb up like so. And then I'm on the bed. I'm thinking about how much of a downgrade this must be from living in an apartment. So as you can see, I live in a jungle. Nothing has changed. My mushroom blanket makes me so happy. Uh, I'm using my same orange comforter along with all of my stuffed animals. They're still here. I have potato. I have Peyton. I have Goudé. You just turn it on. And it turns on. And look how bright it goes. Oh my. Uh, that's the end of this tour. I hope you enjoy. What else do I say? Chris's arms are getting tired from I'm actually holding. dying. Chris's it's arms been, are getting tired it's from been holding. half an hour. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.